All right, so in the last video, we showed you how to read data using a DDE OPC topic. So, and that's using again our traffic light example. So you can see the traffic light is working, the code is working, and you are we are reading data. This data in this video, we're going to talk about how to write. Now, this is very important because sometimes you want to push data, you want to be able to write to it. Now, I'm going to do something very simple, but when that said we're going to still learn how to do this so what I'm going to do is add a bit in front of the traffic light now what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this bit uh, let's just name it traffic light active for the sake of that's what we're going to be doing we're going to be activating the traffic light. okay so with this said it's not going to do anything until this bit's high okay so it will remain in the spot that it's at until that bit is high okay meaning it transitions from a zero to a one now what we want to do first very first thing you want to do is you want to save as and we're going to pick a place um let's just go to desktop we want to change this from a workbook to a excel macro enabled workbook and if you remember in the prior video, we entered into develop mode, developer mode. If you don't know how to do that, again, watch the previous video. You go to options, you go to ribbon, and then you click developer mode. So with that said, we're already in developer mode. Now we have entered in and we've made a macro enabled. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on developer. Then we're going to go to insert right here. And I'm going to make a button right here that basically new button and where it's going to automatically pop up your VBA code. Now, for the sake of what we're doing, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start doing the code. Now, what I want you to understand here is we're going to set some variables. So some of these variables are just variables that you can name them whatever you want to. In this case, DDE channel and we're going to say that's going to be equal to the application and then dot dde so dde and, and it's going to be initiate okay so initiate and then we want to have the brackets and then we want to say app and then the app is going to be if you can guess rs links right so we want to put in rs links and the brackets and as long as we spell it right we'll be all right so and then we'll end that and then we'll go ahead comma and then we want to put our topic okay so we'll put our topic which is our opc topic right if i can spell topic right and that's going to be equal to the topic that we made which is traffic light if you remember in the prior video the DD, DDE OPC topic we made was traffic light so we just verified okay so I hold on so let's see I did not close that so it's just it's easy to see when you make a mistake with VBA code how to do things so again we made a variable called DDE channel now we want to make a, a variable called DDE tag and that's going to be equal to the tag that we want to actually use. Um, in this case, we're going to call that that track traffic light. This right here, this traffic light. We're going to come over here. We're going to copy this bit. Very simple. We're going to paste it right here. We're going to put brackets around it. And then that gives us our variable of DDE tag. Okay, so now what we want to do is in, in VBA code, you're going to have to what they call set poke, or you're going to have to, you're going to have to, what they call a poke, which is when you're pushing data, you're poking data, right? You're, that's, that's basically what it is. So and we're going to say range and then to poke. So that said, we're going to point it to the worksheet that it's in. It's currently a worksheet. Okay. And then the worksheet, the worksheets, I should say, that it's going to be in, as you can tell by the the worksheet that we're in, is this called sheet one? OK, 
Okay, so that's what we're going to point to first. We're going to point to sheet one. Now I do know that it's going to give me that error. So sheet one, and then we want to actually let's go ahead and put our brackets around our colons around that. So sheet one, and then what we want to do at that point is close that, and then we want to come in and put dot the range, and this is going to be the range. When, you, when you're looking at range, you're going to be, what are you wanting to point to? In this case, what we're going to do is I'm going to make this going to be, I'm going to put A, I'm going to put A17 as a 1, and I'm going to put A20 as a 0. So A20 will be the button cutting it off, but we'll put that, we'll make that button here in a second. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to point to the range which in this case is going to be a or let's put our brackets or, or put our, our colons around it a 17 just like we said close that okay so now we've set that now what we need to do is we need to do application application dot d d e and we're going to do poke okay DDE poke and then we're going to say DDE channel because that's that's one of the variables that we made right and then the other variable we have DDE tag okay and then we want to put range poke range to poke because that's another variable that we made okay so what we're doing is we're saying we're going to do a, a, a application DDE poke. We're going to push data on the variables that we just set. So everything that we're, we're referencing all the all the variables that we just set. Now I know that's going to be a little bit confusing for some and some it's not. And then we're going to do an application. This is more of a safeguard. We're going to do a DDE and then we're going to terminate. Okay. We're going to terminate the DDE channel and why do we do that it's for safekeeping so say for instance this if you did not put this last section it would work a couple times and then if you tried to use it numerous times it would just lock up because the simple fact of it's never being closed so what we're doing with this statement is we're closing that DDE section so that said we'll go ahead and we'll save that we're going to add another button in here and we're going to actually change we're going to change the text in here and we're going to call this we're going to call this uh, start traffic light start traffic light okay so now we're going to make another button we're going to insert you've already know how to make a button now we're going to come over here we're going to add a button and we're, when we're doing this we're making a new section inside of our sheet now all I'm going to do right here is I'm going to take the same code and I'm merely going to copy and paste it and instead of looking at a 17 I'm going to look at a 20 and the reason I'm doing that is because the next place that I want to be looking at is a 20 so hopefully that makes sense we're using the same variables we're using the same DDE tag same DDE channel same range of poke and then we're, we're doing the same exact application of what we're commanding to do and then we're terminating that connection once we're done so this will be in essence this will be just this simple and we want to save this okay and then we want to come back and we want to give this a name again so we're going to give this this will be this will be stop stop traffic light okay so now that we have this in there so with this said with everything we just put in we put in all of our VBA code that we have very simple you can select button one 
our button two, you see that it does change states, it change areas if you would. Now we have it active right now. If we hit the stop button, you see it turns that bit off. So we've initially stopped the whole traffic light. The traffic light's not gonna cycle anymore. If I hit this button right here, it's going to make that bit high and it's gonna allow the traffic bit traffic light to start again. So you see, reading the data is a lot more, I guess, if you could say, I guess, simpler than writing the data. Writing data using Excel is a little bit different, right? So you each and everything, and, and I did a simple example of using a bit, but again, this is not limited to bits. You can use integers, you can do use arrays, you can use different things. You can do many, many different things, providing you write the right VBA code behind it. And again, if you, you can do the same exact code that I just did, providing you're just doing one array, right? You writing data into that array or whatever the case may be. But you see, this does work just like an HMI would, right? I'm just showing you a simple illustration of a start, stop, push button, basically working to control a traffic light. Either it's on or it's off. Very simple scenario, very easy to understand, but the most complex thing that you, that the meaning of this video is to show you how to use the dynamic data exchange to push data to the PLC. So again, we're gonna start it. And as you see, we push the button and it works. With that said, we're gonna save everything because now we've built a data sheet. We have, we're reading data, we're writing data. You can also do the same exact thing if you don't wanna constantly read data, you can make it where you only read the data when you push a button or, and again, so I have it where it's automatically reading, but again, you can use that same theory and same operation. You can come over here and write that in there to only read the data when you initiate it, okay? So again, when it comes down to it, you could just you could do that as well, but I'm showing you how to pull data, how to actually just pull data and put it in an Excel spreadsheet, and then also how to control something, how to push data. A lot of times you'll see this being used for like recipe systems or something like that. I'm showing you a simple example of just using a simple bit on and off, on and off, on and off. Very simple, very easy to understand, nothing complex. Again, the primary source of this vehicle or th this video is to show you how to use the dynamic exchange to push data to the PLC. Again, using Studio 5000. You see everything is working. And again, with that said, hopefully this cleared up a lot. What I'll do is I'll probably link the code below if you wanted to do the, uh, the the code itself but the problem with linking the code below is you need to have the proper protocols you need to have you be, need to be in developmental mode you need to have your worksheet under macro enabled you need to then come over here and <clears throat> make your buttons and, and if you don't make your button right it won't work so when you make your button just don't try to you, you just go ahead and click ok when you make your button like say for instance you come over here you make a button it's going to pop up. It's going to be button three. If you just, you know, whatever the case may be, just, just went ahead and hit OK. It's not going to work. You have to click new because if you click OK, it's just going to put the button there, but it's not going to show it in the VBA code. You want to click new. Okay. So with that said, now I have a new button. Now I'm going to get rid of that button because I don't need it. With that said, hopefully you learned a lot from this video. We'll see you guys on the next one.